So we just find this guy right on the edge of the busy road in the morning. Look, eh? Still by himself. Look, he's shaking. It's okay. I'm just taking my time. What we're going to do is take up the vets. Eh? I'm going to take up the vets because that's where people normally look. We're worried sick about you. Eh? I know, my dear, I know. So I'm just really taking my time, not even driving off until he's kind of fairly settled because he's still shaking a little bit. There's a lot of traffic. Hey, son. It's okay, I promise. I promise. I promise. Oh, shh, I'm scared. Hey, where'd you wander off from, my boy? Where'd you wander off from? Looks like he's like a cross, aren't you, son? You're like a Jack Russell cross. The ambulance heading out, wonder where it's. What is turning this way? Not nice, not nice. Here he goes, you guys. Yes, yeah, so the field's getting clearer and clearer. Well, this side of the field, anyway. The, the other side of the field now is just all uh, eaten down by the big boy here. Hey, son, you wanna say hello? I'll tell you something, guys. I knew Em would bond with Herbie because you know that um, she's his rider. Hey. I don't think I'd bond with you like this though, eh? Can't wait to see you each day. It's just such a cracker. What a personality. You're just a big boy, aren't you? I'm a big Highland boy. Yeah, so this is my routine at the moment, guys. It is very cold up in Scotland, so, so you know, I tend to come up a little bit more than what Emily or Mummy and that do, you know? Um, you know, since Herbie's been in here, it, the ground's very soft and he's finding these sort of holes that he's pushing his, pushing like that, you see. So I've got to keep going behind and fill them up, which is okay. We've got rid of most of the rabbit warrens, which is great. We've got a mole going around at the minute, so that's not so great. But yeah, that's my new little routine. And he seems to be absolutely happy. He just looks good, you know, where Emily's really taking care of him. You know, he got his mane done last night and his tail. And of course he gets his jacket on overnight, but it's a lot warmer. And you know something, the thing I'm really starting to understand is that although I'm standing here feeling the cold, he's not. So you've got to keep checking the temperature, you know. If it gets below five, then maybe put something on him, you know. But, um, you know, it's 11 just now and I feel a bit cold, but hey, he's absolutely happy. So there we are, we're just jumping Frank off of Hugo, just putting another, oh God, was a gallon of diesel actually. Hopefully you can hear Frank's compressors trying to pump the back suspension up at the minute. Yeah, so let's have a go. Yeah, so I've just left Hugo running just to get some amps into this thing. Let's just see if we can get going now. Come on, Frankie boy, don't let me down. Make his, uh, make sure his glow plugs are warmed right up. Here we go. And this, guys, it's my fault because that solar panel drained the battery instead of actually charging it. 20... To, what are you from? 21 years old? And that's why I keep coming to hear that. Straight up. Absolutely straight up. Yeah, so that'll do him, guys. I'll just leave Frank running for a bit. Just build up that charge again. That's Frank up and running. Look at this boy. Isn't he just perfect? Wait to see him. Look at this man. Eh? Hey, best friend, aren't you? Yes, you are. That cracker he is, eh? What a cracker you are. Good boy. Yeah, so the Land Rover we didn't start. I was thinking you might be able to pull the trailer for me. Sorry, try that again. I thought Herb, you might have pulled the trailer for me. But no, that's not his bag, is it? No. You do horse riding, that's what you do, don't you? A oh, lovely boy, look at him. Just amazing. And he's starting to get really soft and furry, especially around his neck. Oh, just beautiful. Yeah, some lovely fresh grass under there, eh? Now, because the Land Rover and the trailer's been there, I mean, I need to check that all over for just any bits and pieces that might hurt Herbie, you know. Pretty much okay with the rest of the field at the minute. But yeah, I still got to empty the big trailer, guys, because we need to build it into a, a hay bale trailer. But look at all this lush grass coming back through. Just because it was covered. Look, brilliant. He'll be down here after, let me tell you. This will be gone in no time. So that's Bailey screeching because we've got, had two in the chimney, didn't we? Two birdies in the chimney. Almost, almost out. Did the other one go out? I think so, yeah. Here it goes. It's gone. Yeah, I'm on you. This is the other one. 
Yeah, I'll be okay. I'm coming up the car. Oh, he's up there, is he? Oh, you're okay, chap. We just, um, let's see, yeah, uh, where are we thing, aren't you? And um, look at this. Eh, uh, I know. Sorry, Bailey, not today. Not today. I don't know what she thinks is going to happen. We've got reinforcements Dad, in. Close it. We've got reinforcements. Dad, close it. Emily doesn't mind this at all, do you, Emily? It's okay, I've got it shut, but I've started it. Yeah, there was up here. Oh, you almost got it. Almost, well. We'll just take our time, eh? Yeah, so uh, it, quite a lot of kids who probably wouldn't like this at all, but Emily wants to get the birdie, you see. She loves this sort of thing. Just doing a rescue, aren't we, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to scare it out. I thing. see, yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, I think Mum got it, did you? I found that racing. Yeah, she got it. Well done, little one. Okay. Now, this will have to watch. Look, our cut and is just arrived, look. So just be careful, Ian. Um, so just be really careful putting a buck okay, in again. Sweetheart. That lovely wee thing. And that's two for two for that's Emily, little one. one. Luke must be exhausted. Okay, there we go. Well done, Ems. No, if it goes up high, there it goes. Well done, Emily. Two for two. <laughs> Come on, the bunnies. Come on. And here's another one that must be exhausted, but Bailey doesn't run out of energy. Look. Imagine what Bailey would think sniffing my hands off of it. She oh. is needing a big drink of water after that. Look at her, <laughs> pecking. Big. <laughs> look at her. Okay, so she did run out of energy. Look. <laughs> yeah, guys, so big cost saving going on. And my mate's just done a, a whole bathroom. You'll see the corner suite over there and left all the stuff here just to see if we can salvage some stuff to do the lorry and check it out. They will do absolutely brilliant for the lorry, I think. If I can get one, two, three, four, yeah, because they've kind of got to match, haven't they? Uh, to make it look good. But boy, oh boy, look at this. An electric towel rail type heater, look. People throw out absolutely nothing wrong with that in the slightest. Look, nothing. That going in the lorry, people. So we're a bit later on tonight. There's a wee bit of wind and the rain is coming in. Um, but it's actually quite mild, so we've just put on his waterproof one. And here he goes, look. Herbie's favourite, look, the apples. He's a better. This will keep him nice and cosy tonight, eh? He's a big, strong boy, though. Aren't you? He's a big, strong boy. He's a Highlander. Yeah, so this is David back on the David special. Yeah. Hey, sunny boy. Mom's not feeling great. So I'm tidying yeah. the kitchen. David's no, doing his own good. food. There we go, guys. And if you hadn't seen it before, it looks quite straightforward, doesn't it? But the middle part, you cut out and put chocolate yeah, in it, don't you? Yeah, you get two pieces. You put chocolate, get a cup, put the, put the chocolate, chocolate in the air in fryer. There, and then with one of them, you put an egg in it. And then I still have another one for later. Then he's going to flip it. Yeah. Yeah, baby. So here we are lying flat. Obviously, because they're in the lorry now. This is where they are going to go. Yeah. Hey, sunny boy. Now, we're going to have to move that divider one, two. It'll give us a bit more room. And then the other one, one. Yeah, but that's... I'm going to say it's going to be a bit tighter than I wanted. Right, so as David was just saying, guys, this is the kind of plan that we've got, but that is going to be way too long. That's the bulkhead right there, mm -hmm. and that's the door going back through to where we are just now. Yeah, but this is it's like longer that. Longer than I thought, yeah. And then this is a lot longer than that. So we might have tool chest over here instead. Yeah, so these are over here. Pretty much the short end over here, the long end over there. Let's measure up, my boy. Yep. Yeah, now, so hopefully you can see guys, look, there's the door for Dobbs is, and there's the wall obviously, and then there's the bit up above, which we've got, and then it comes out about 1.2. When we move this across for Herbie, it's actually going to be right there, which is 1.2. And this one is 620 wide, that one 560 wide. So instead of putting the red one there with the black on top, 
we're going to have to put the right one over there just to give us the, the room that we need. We'll, we'll see as we go along. Mm -hmm. We'll see. And also, the other thing you have to remember is the ply we do, we're going to be building all this with is 20 mil wide. Mm -hmm. So you have to factor all those little sizes into the equation as well. Yeah, so big box of goodies from the caravan trailer that we did, obviously. We'll try and bring some of this together. <coughs> but, I mean, hopefully you guys... You guys that are pretty practical, you'll know the price of uh, copper at the moment and wire and all sorts of stuff. I mean, look at this. We've got endless amounts. Of, uh, both for 12 volt and 240. There we go. It's a, is that the filter? That's not the pump. That's the filter, I think, that we've got. I might not use those water pipes, eh, son, because they'd be pretty minging, really. Eh? And for all the price of new piping, I think it's hardly worth it, eh? Yeah, got tons and tons of stuff. Now, this one here is out of the caravan, so that's the charger unit, and that is the fuse box. But if we're going to be putting on major power tools in here, son, I don't think we'll cope with it. No. I think we should use that for the living area only. Yeah, so like we can turn yeah. off the lights and other appliances. Because all that is then is we'll have a leisure battery and probably another fuse box actually maybe an electric switch to switch gas on and off yeah and i've got a friend who is a fully qualified electrician for many years so he'll come and test all this stuff for us and make sure it's all safe enough so david's happy people now it doesn't look like much but wait see this if you've never seen it before yes yeah, so it look absolutely fantastic so three we cam these were like all the old windows we'll have to get rid of them that's okay and the compi, the hattie is in there. But look at this. David built a fire pit, look. Mm -hmm. And brought all that back, look. So now, and what we're going to do is put a tarp up. Aren't we, sunny boy? Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah, up there somewhere. And also the yeah. water will run off over there and there. That's right. You'll... Thicker grass will grow and longer grass, so we'll have a shield. It's David's hutty by the river. So there we go guys, we've got the little fire pit there. Now this is going to open up into a big canopy. Yeah, so when it opens up... So once we open it all up, and we're pretty sheltered here, we're not really going to get a lot. The reason why I want it like this, and uh, if you're confused why we haven't put it over, it's so right here, we can set up a tent. Then the door of that person's tent is right by the fire. And go right in there. And then, like if me and dad are camping, his tent is there. So then his door is here, so I can sit over there. He can sit here by the fire. Yes. Cropped it. So what we need to do now, guys, is get bungee cords on either side and just get it flattened yeah, straight out. on these, and then on the middle bits, power cords. We need four bungees, but I think I've only got two. I could be wrong, we'll go and check. But check it out guys, railway sleepers, quite small railway sleepers right enough, that's going to be, that's going to be David's benches. Yeah. How cool is that? I oh, know. Oh yeah, the cows are back, look, they're obviously down for a wee drink. They just drink straight out the river, that's all they do. Yeah, yeah so we're on temporary mode just now, aren't we, son, just to see. But that's perfect, under the fire pit, look. Down a bit more. Yeah. Right now, flat. It's quite a bit of room here. Mm -hmm. And you'll see all the leaves that are dying. But what we've got above us is evergreens. Mm -hmm. So they'll be absolutely fine. They, they won't um, go away. So well, the young Dav's just had a wee bit of a brainwave. He wants to put like a grill over the top. Yeah, like a grill thing. Yeah. And then these things are lower down. We can still poke the fire and stuff, eh? Yeah, and get some sticks in. See? No then problem. That tarp should do the job. Yeah, because we're so covered under here, I'd probably have like the two-man tent just here. Um, David would be sleeping in the hutty anyway. But that's just to keep the drops off. I mean, if it was peeing down the rain, I think all we get is drops down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've just, we just poop scooped the field, guys. Um, so it took a wee while. We're just filling in some old rabbit holes and stuff like that, which is great, just to keep him nice and safe, eh, Herbs? And a good boy, and we'll come back up and do your hoofs. And put your jacket on for tonight, won't we? That's usually the story these days, guys. 
Yeah, so you'll probably see that, hopefully you can see that green hose line going across down there, guys, look. Now this is so that we, could, we still don't have water to the stable yet, and we'd really want to have that other side of the field sectioned off. That would be great. Because obviously when the winter really does come in, he's actually just going to be on this side anyway. So we can get some grass to grow, son. Well, It'd be handy. Switch from that side to that side. Do work on that side. Play around on that side. Yeah. And we are really, really kind of looking towards... I would, if we had the money, guys, I would buy that house, I'll tell you. Yeah. Hey, absolutely. But in we go. Yeah, so we need the water because obviously, look, we can brush. But I just want to power wash every time. You know, It just keeps the smell down. Uh, we've got edging all the way around anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I think, guys, we're going to have to maybe keep his winter feed in here. But there's a, if there's an issue with that, is if you could imagine the smell of food, and he's hungry, and he's trapped in here. Well, not trapped, you know what I mean, stabled. That's not very nice, is it, son? No. So I think we're going to have to think of a different option for that. But me and Davs will get this bed all done for him, and get this Maybe going. Tomorrow. Yeah. We're home. No. No. And that plus weed out the back is all we have for all the winter, eh, yeah. son? So the weed you see up at the field is coming back, getting chopped up and going into this fire. But young Dobbs is going to get this going for us, look. Here we go. First fire of the year, and we're on what? 28th October, 29th? 28th. End, on, end of October, anyway, yeah. All the way, remember, at the left as well, left and right. Get it all going. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it's coming from the back. Let the good times roll. Just shove the bit of paper in, David. Yeah, so just a wee bit low light, guys. We just stopped. This is on the way back from Emily's horse field. And I've got these guys on the way home, eh? We've got gorgeous little Shetlands just to our left there, just behind the bushes. And there's a wee young one over there. And wait to see this brown and white one. He's coming. She's coming, actually. Ems. Look at this. Hello. Hello, little one. Hi, hi. Oh, you come in. He's a little, oh, you drink of water. Here's the little one. Now, you're not going to come unless this one comes, are you? Come on, sweetheart. Come on, then. Hi, there. Do you remember us from yesterday? Big girl's not coming over to the. Oh, no, she is. She's coming. Yes, it's getting quite dark, guys. The camera's doing not bad. Hello, little one. Come on then. It's okay. It's edging over, look. Just edging. Good girl. Hello. We're nice. We're not going to do nothing to hurt you. Promise. Now, isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Look. But you're absolutely gorgeous. Hey there, big girl. Look at you. Hello, darling. Look at her eyes are amazing, aren't you? Yes, hello, darling. She is just gorgeous, isn't she? Mm. We want to see little one. We were, we want to see little one. There we go. Oh, is that better? So, as you can see, guys, it's a horrible, horrible morning at the minute. Windy, rainy, a bit cold. And the uh, young Herbie just be up to get Miss Cara and check he's okay. I like being up here first thing just to make sure he's fine, you know. You just never know. You never know. We've got the car of on it to fix. Still good to get that done and oh me oh my. Hey Herbs. He's on the search for good grass. We're just about to stick on our feet now, I think, eh? So that's what the big fire was last night. We got, me and Emily were up at the field about midnight, I think it was. This is the little road in between the, sort of where the field is and where we're going. But yeah, look, maybe not malicious. I would very much doubt it. Maybe it has been like an electrical fire or something, but that was really, really high. You could see it for miles. What have we got, a Hyundai or something? I think, I don't know, I can't really see it. But yeah. Oh yeah, it was some fire, look at that. Dear Lord. That's going to be a fatal thing to move. Yeah, and Sheriff Mill, or just our local Kevins, and that probably pick this thing up, I would have thought. Oh yeah, just right burnt out, look. Volvo, is it? Not wee Volvos, I don't know. Anyway, 
Yeah, so very cold just now. Wee bit of WD-40, I'm going to start getting the fires on, save a bit of gas money. That'll do, sonny boy. Don't use petrol, guys, because the fumes go right up. WD-40 doesn't do that, it hasn't got a lot of vapour. That's it, just all the way along, sonny boy. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Here we go. There is nothing better at this time of the year than an actual normal fire, eh? And that's uh, bits of the stable we're burning just now. Mm -hmm. I think that was one of the fence posts in the field, actually. That was holding up our water tank that I took out of the, the attic. Yeah. So, so we're in the stables and this is kind of late night, eh, well, sorry. It's in the evening and of course it's the darker nights now. I can't even, because Herbie's brown, can't even see him. Yeah, but I need to take these back. So we have to get a leaf blower to get rid of all these leaves. And I think that's the same leaves that are falling all over here, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'll take them home and see what they are. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get a leaf blower because obviously this is our first um, winter with herbs, and it's just turned into the autumn time. So a lot of this leaves look they're even coming in here. I just want to make sure to see what this actually is. What we'll need to get is a leaf blower. And uh, then we can start really keeping this area clear. I'm just not going to see them guys, sorry. I don't I don't want to put on the torch. Our night vision is actually very good. Hey herbs. <laughs> 